Smell the stench. <laughs> what happened to the revolution the Beatles sang about? When will the wind blow in the answers and get our feet back to the garden again, my friend? So many stirring songs once wafted around. Where did that hopefulness go? Was it shot down with Kennedy and King? Was it numbed out in our 80s pursuit of happiness? Maybe further dumbed down by our smartphones. Maybe, just maybe, those old protest songs were seeds of change sown by the great celestial poet, tossed out in psychedelic randomness, left to see which ideas and dreams of a better world would take root. In the gestating decades of humanity's collective dark night of the soul, maybe things had to putrefy enough so we could all smell the stench of the decaying constructs of Homo sapiens. Smell the stench! Smell the stench until it curls up through our nostrils, past our overtaxed amygdala in the center of our brain to knock at the neocortex of our soul and wake us all up so we can usher in a new era. So smell the stench. Smell the stench, people. Smell the stench of crumbling systems that no longer serve the public good. Government gridlock, corporate greed, Wall Street hedging against hedges, speculating with grandpa's pensions both for and against banks too big not to bail out. Smell the stench, smell it, smell the stench of hybridized Franken-wheat and Monsanto-modified corn-like substance that allows Bayer to sell farmers more pesticides, which makes the delicate flora of our gut launch our immune system into full-scale internal attack, sending us to the feeding troughs of Bear, who also happens to make painkillers. <laughs> smell the stench! Smell the stench! Smell the stench, America! We who have not a health care system, but rather a sick maintenance system, rendering giant pharmaceutical companies a steady supply of fearful lab rats. I mean, uh, customers, uh, patients. <laughs> oh, wait, wait! You smell that? It's Americans paying twice as much. No, 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 paying 20 times more than the rest of the world for the exact same drug. Smell the stench, smell it, smell the stench. <laughs> As we stand chest deep in the malodorous muck of our own creation, there are those of us sensitive souls who sigh in deep despair Oh, what's the use? What good does it do to say anything about it anyway? Verily, I say unto thee, who but the poets and musicians and artists can sound out the clarion call to wake up our brothers and sisters. For once, we are able to stop our mass denial and fully smell the stench, then something else can arise. Another fragrance begins to register. Can you smell that? I think it is the smell of spring buds just opening. A fragrance ephemeral, but it is there. Oh, that great celestial poet did not toss out his psychedelic seeds in vain. Those earnest seeds of yesteryear needed time to take hold in the luminous belly of Mother Earth. Ah, smell that blossoms of magnificent magnolias Inhale the aroma of fragrant pines, massive redwoods, and countless others who have grown steadily stronger on that multidimensional plane. When ego has finally overextended itself and modern man's systems ultimately utterly fail, the crystal tree people await us in a brighter world. But it is we who must take the leap into the unknown. So speak up, all you poet shamans and musician visionaries and artist light workers. Speak up. Show us how to reach through the gossamer veils, grab hold of those incandescent tree branches, take a quantum leap forward to evolve into hominous luminous. <laughs> we are the ones we have been waiting for. Oh.